This is Nick Peters with Comcor's video blog, What Were They Thinking? This week, Exelon, the operator of the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant near Harrisburg, PA, filed to have it decommissioned by the year 2019. On a clear March day 38 years ago, as a newspaper reporter in Philadelphia, I was assigned to drive to TMI to assist our local Capitol Bureau. CBS News' Walter Cronkite had just broadcast that the plant's core meltdown was the worst nuclear plant disaster in the history of the United States. In the ensuing hours, hundreds of thousands of panicked area residents confused federal, state, and local officials, and I and my fellow journalists would experience firsthand a different kind of disaster, the crisis communications meltdown by the plant operator at the time, General Public Utilities, or GPU. What was GPU thinking? Regarding TMI, the problem clearly wasn't too much information. Besides my own experience, consider the words of Ralph DeSantis, then a plant security guard. As misinformation and widespread panic escalated, he became the sole de facto communicator and subject matter expert for visiting President Carter, Governor Thornburg, reporters, and anyone else on site requiring information in the absence of a central GPU point of contact. Quote, they had no one at the company in communications at the time, DeSantis recalls. Quote, and there were zero connections with the local community, unquote. DeSantis later became a member of GPU's newly formed communications team. Now, obviously, most companies have come a long way in recent decades in understanding the importance of crisis communications, but the basic lessons of TMI are always worth revisiting. One, have a plan and a designated crisis team in place. Two, build and maintain relationships with local officials, community leaders, and the media. And three, drill baby drill, especially if you are in an industry that poses potential public health and safety risks. The midst of a crisis is not the time to learn what to do. For Comcore, I'm Nick Peters. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.